I'm very happy to be in Dubai. When you say Dubai in New York, everybody goes, oh wow, Dubai. Thrilled to be in the Middle East with my team and my jewelry. And Obeid Jewelry from Kuwait invited us. Uh, we did our first collaboration in February 2016, and then we just did another recent pop-up store in Kuwait before coming here to Dubai. And it was very successful, and now we're in Dubai for a few days, three to four days, and it's been amazing. I love meeting clientele, and we do see some clientele from our New York and London boutiques coming in here to uh, this Dubai space. It's wonderful to see everybody. Because piercing is really minor surgery, it's very important to uh, get it done in a sterile uh, environment with hypoallergenic jewelry. So what that means is, for example, if you get pierced using white gold, you want to make sure that there's no nickel in it. And a lot, there's a lot of nickel in white gold that's in the U.S., whereas in Europe, they're much more rigorous about not having nickel in it. So some metals you want to stay away from are things like brass and nickel, plated gold pieces. So that would even include gold plated over silver. You want to stick with metals that are known to be hypoallergenic. Some stainless steels, like medical grade stainless steel, 316L, titanium, so things they use inside the body for implants, like titanium medical grade, 6AL4V is an example of that. Um, and gold, you want to stick with 14 karat and higher. There are certain reasons that all of our pieces tend to be gold or titanium. So we follow the same procedures that a hospital would. We make sure everything is single use and disposable. So all the tools used on you are, is only you. Even the pen we use to mark you is single use and we give it to you. It's never been used on anyone else and it stays with you. Enemy number one, just make sure you have a fresh wound. Don't touch the door handle, touch your ear. So that's number one. And of course, cleaning it twice a day with something very, very mild like saline, or antibacterial soap. You don't want to use harsh products. You don't want to go take alcohol and put it on your ear to clean it. Isopropyl alcohol is very harsh, especially if you're putting it on your skin, on your face or your piercing. Don't use that. So there's really no amount, uh, maximum amount of jewelry, uh, number of piercings you can put in your ears. But of course, there's a, a limit for what looks good and it's how you put it together.